Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on multiple different platforms. And today I have a Goodwill Ben's haul. Um, and this is gonna be from the Savannah, Georgia location. And I'm also throwing in a small haul from regular Goodwill as well, just because the day that I went, I found some really good things. Um, and I would like to show you guys. So we're just going to go ahead and hop right in because I have a lot of stuff to show. Um, and if you like Goodwill Outlet Hauls, definitely subscribe to this channel because I will be putting one out again, hopefully soon, because I have another haul that I would like to do. And that one's from a location that I have never been to. So stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully I will have that uploaded within the next week, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and hop right in. So we're going to start out with the regular Goodwill haul. And on this day, I spent $82. But I think two or three things from this haul was for me. So you would subtract like maybe $15 from that. Um, I was going to, well, I mean, lately, as I am going about to find things to resell, I'm looking for things that are very spring and summer. And I think everyone should be doing that right now. Um, but I still pick up sweaters and things like that from time to time. So this day I found some pretty good stuff that is definitely like spring and summer. The first one being this pretty 100% linen button down top. This is actually kind of like a pinkish red, but for some reason on camera, it just does not come off like it's supposed to. It is a very lightweight um, linen and it's from the brand Eileen Fisher which I love picking up, especially when I can find it in larger sizes like this. This is a size large and it is a tunic length and it's very oversized, very lagging look. So I was very excited to find that. Um, Eileen Fisher always sells for me. Some of the stuff does sit, but eventually they will sell. So that is really exciting. Okay, so the next piece, we have this blue sweater again. Like I said, I will still pick up sweaters um, during spring and summer depending on the brand and I picked this up because it is a Lily Pulitzer um, this is a size small navy blue kind of like that chenille feeling material a little ruffle sleeve excellent condition was very excited to find that one okay so continuing on we have a really exciting piece this is another Lily Pulitzer but this one's actually new with tags. I've never found new with tags, Lily Pulitzer. This is also a size small, so I'm assuming it was the same person. It is that Kelly green color um, blouse. It has this cute sleeve with the tie, um, and it's just really cute. It's that lightweight polyester, um, and this actually retailed for $118, which is absolutely just crazy to me. Um, and I can't remember exactly what this blouse top was called, but um, anything Lily Pulitzer, if I'm being honest, I will pick up just because even if it's plain, like those two pieces, the blue sweater and the green top, it will eventually sell because Lily Pulitzer has a following. And then the next piece is a really exciting piece for me. And it's this cute 100% cotton yellow button down top and it has these cool like zebra novelty print to it and it is from the brand Talbots and it's a size extra large and any like Talbots Talbots novelty Talbots like nice floral sells really quickly and really well and really like anything with novelty print like this just sells so quickly for me it doesn't matter the brand because I found um a Michelle McDowell um, zebra print top and that was just like a little um, boutique style I mean boutique brand and it sold within days um, so if you find anything novelty print like that I would definitely pick it up um, the next piece if I can show it was a style based pickup kimonos do really well in the spring and summer this is a blue and white tie-dye one. It's going to be really hard to show, um, but maybe you can kind of get the idea. It does have armholes, and it a, is a size 2X, and it's from the brand Taylor Street. Never heard of that. It does have a tiny flaw on here. It's like a small hole, but other than that, it's in really good condition, 100% rayon. So I decided to go ahead and pick that up. This is another flawed piece, but 
because it is, of course, Eileen Fisher, and this is 100% linen, and this is a beautiful, um, like, I guess this is buffalo plaid. I'm not really sure, but it's like a plaid boxy sweater. It has the oversized sleeves. It does have a flaw in the front, which is this pull here, but I just feel like somebody would be willing to fix that size medium just because Eileen Fisher stuff like this is so expensive and this feels so high quality. So I could not pass that up. Okay, moving on, another exciting piece from this haul was this Sundance piece. I never come across some Sundance. I think I've come across it a couple of times and this is in excellent condition. This is still being sold on the website for like $98. It is an embroidered long sleeve top very boho, kind of Western style, size medium. I came across another Sundance uh, piece this day, but I did leave that one behind because it was a little too worn, um, but that one is like perfect condition. So I decided to pick that one up. Hopefully I can get at least $40 for that top. Um, that is a great find. And then this brand, I really like selling. Um, and every time I've found this brand, it has sold for me relatively quickly. Some of the things does set, but it's this pretty blue and black floral style dress. Um, the sleeves are sheer, but then the body is lined. And it's just a really ni nice piece. It has this um, keyhole backing. And this is a, a plus size from Carl Lagerfeld, which is a really good brand. I do like selling it. And I do not usually find it in plus size. I usually find it in smaller sizes. Um, and I was really excited to find that because the Carl Lagerfeld dresses specifically do really well for me. And then the last piece for this small Goodwill haul, and then we're gonna jump into the Goodwill Bins haul, is this Draper James green and black plaid dress. This is gonna be an experimental piece. I'm not sure how this is gonna do. This might be a piece that doesn't sell until the fall and winter time, but I just thought it was so cute. I couldn't leave it behind, size six, so I had to pick it up. For the Goodwill Benz haul, again, this is from the Savannah, Georgia location. I spent around $35 that day, and I will have down below how many pounds I got and how many items I got, because I'm not really sure off the top of my head right now. I cannot find my receipt, um, but usually when I go to the Goodwill outlets, I spend an hour there. So this was a little over an hour that day and you're about to see what I found in a little over an hour. <laughs> First, I'm gonna start out with the shoes. I did find quite a bit of shoes. I don't always find shoes when I go to the Goodwill outlet. Um, it, because usually the shoes are pretty worn out if I'm being honest, but this day I found some cute ones that were decent, in decent condition. Um, so the first being these kind of cute, but if I'm being honest, these are kind of slightly outdated, this style, but I just thought it was so cute. Um, this is from the brand Blowfish, which is really popular in my area. It's going to be hard to show the inside of the shoe, but these are a size eight and a half. Um, I just thought the animal print and them being in very good condition would definitely sell these. Um, I probably won't get more than $20 for them though, but they're really cute and I believe that they will eventually sell, especially because we're going into that spring and summer season. So um, anytime I see sandals for really cheap, I'm gonna pick them up. Um, just like with these, these are Sam Edelman. I actually have these same style sandals or flip-flops, wherever you wanna call them, but I have it in brown. But this is a very bright, like neon yellow. Um, but I decided to go ahead and pick these up because obviously they were just in really good condition. Um, very little wear. They just need to be wiped down really well. And they were a size eight and a half. Um, and I feel like I could at least get like $18 for these at least. So I did decide to go ahead and pick those up. Another sandal I found is a brand I do like to sell. I don't always pick up everything by this brand and the brand is Clark's, but when it comes to Clark's sandals, and a lot of their comfort shoes and their boots, depending, like, I guess really depending on the um, quality, if it's like a leather upper 
and if it's in good condition i will pick it up so these are leather upper and this is what the the top looks like um and they're in really good condition and they are a size 10. here's the bottoms um and again going into sandal season i like having plenty of sandals in my closet okay and these were a style based pickup um this is not the best brand it's just the brand so but because my cost of goods is so cheap at the Goodwill bins, a lot of times I will justify picking up brands that I know is not going to sell for a lot because I kind of justify it. And I say, okay, I'm not spending a lot of money. It's um, good for me because I have something to list. Um, I forgot to mention at the first part of this video, but lately I have been trying to list five items a day, five days a week. So that is 25 items a week that I need. Um, and if I was just to go to regular Goodwill for all of that, it's definitely going to be a lot of money. So I have been utilizing going to the bins more often here lately when I have the chance to and bulking up on inventory so that I have those five items a day, five days a week to list. So for example, these are not going to bring in a lot, but they're in basically perfect condition. Um, I really like the cutout style that's on both sides. They are a size eight, really good size. Um, and I could at least get, I think at least 15 to $20 for these. So for that reason, I did decide to go ahead and pick them up. And then these next ones, um, I'm kind of debating keeping them. They need to be cleaned like really desperately. As you can see, there is some, just something right there on the toe that needs to be washed. But these are like the Esther Drill platforms. Um, and it's like a black sandal, it zips on the side. I just think they're so cute and just great for summer and they're my size. So I might possibly keep these. I'm gonna try to get them cleaned up and try them on. Um, but if not, these should be in my closet pretty soon. Okay, so that is all the shoes. Now we're gonna jump into the clothing. Um, the first piece being a sweater actually. Um, and this was a pickup uh, because of material. And because of style because the brand is nothing special it's just the brand ruby moon which i don't even know if i've ever heard of that but anyway it is kind of like giving me free people um look you know like it kind of looks like free people <laughs> to me it's very slouchy oversized sweater has that raw hem look in the middle it's a turtleneck um, when I found this, I was like, okay, this is really cute, but the only way I'm going to pick it up is if it has good material in it. And then when I looked at the material, I saw that it had a little bit of wool. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take the chance on it. It needs to be cleaned. It needs a good soaking. Um, and I will get that listed. Obviously, that's not going to probably sell until like winter now, but I do sell um, sweaters during the spring and summer. It's not uncommon for me to, um, they just sell for less sometimes. Um, but the way around that is just to wait, you know, I mean, still list them, but don't accept any offers that's lower than what you're wanting. And then just wait till the winter time. And then usually during the winter or when the new season's coming, I will go ahead and relist the stuff that has been setting out of season, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next piece is a brand I've never heard of before. My husband actually found these and he was like, hey, these feels, feel really nice. Um, little Donkey, do not know. These could little be, literally be from Walmart and I not know. But these are a pair of men's, kind of like that athletic feeling material pants, cargo pants. But they do feel really nice. Um, they just need to be washed. So after... A good washing these should be good as new they feel basically brand new there's just a slight bit of like surface stain on them that needs to come off this one too needs to be washed um you know how like some things from the bins just have like an odor this is one of those where i'm just like yeah this is gonna have to be soaked but this is from the brand serenade new york um i don't know it looked like a brand that i had seen before but I went ahead and picked it up even though I really didn't know what it was <laughs> because it's a size large. And I said, you know what? Push comes to shove. I can throw this in a live show. It's a really cute style button up top. And it's just great to have in my closet for the spring and summertime. As well as this piece that's a size 2X. It's just 
Mill Gabrielle. This was a style bit base pickup, which is definitely the trend when I go to the Goodwill outlet. I don't find many name brands. Um, so a lot of times I'm looking for style based pickups. So I really like this dress. It does have some dirt on it. I'm going to have to wash it, but it's a really cute um, sleeveless dress. Great for the summertime. And I thought this would be so cute with like a little white t-shirt under it. Ugh, so adorable. Um, if it was my size, I would keep it and wear it that way. And this was the piece that um, really got me excited. Because again, I don't find many great brands. Um, so when I found this, I was so excited. So this is pretty heavy. I probably paid at least four to five dollars for it, if I'm being honest. But it is an Eloquy piece. And it is a size 28. Yeah, size 28. And it is a beautiful black maxi dress. So here's the sleeves. And then this detail and the front, hopefully I'm showing that right, is so cute. And it has like a little snap here, um, just to make it a little bit more modest. The only issue that it has is a little bit of peeling right here, but it is a beautiful dress. It also has pleating to the skirt portion, and I just could not leave this behind. Eloquy stuff is very expensive retail, um, I used to pick up everything Eloquy, like it's a really nice plus size brand, but now I'm pretty particular with it. I don't pick up all the blouses and everything like I used to, but if it's a nice dress, if it's a nice blazer or jacket by Eloquy, I will definitely pick it up just because the brand is well known for its plus size clothing. Okay, so a brand I do like picking up at the Goodwill bins if it's a good style and if it's a, a larger size, sometimes I'll pick up the smaller sizes though, if I'm being honest, is Loft. This is size large. It is a cute black and white floral top. When I saw this, I said, okay, I know that I could probably get 10 to $15 for this. And if not, if I see it's not moving pretty quickly, I can throw this in a live show and easily auction this off for five to $8. So um, in, in the long run, I know this will sell. This is a really cute top very like kind of career style this was another brand that i honestly do not pay up for anymore it just doesn't do well and it's top shop and this is a smaller size it's a size two but it's just so cute i couldn't leave this behind it is a animal print button down dress shirt dress and it's just so adorable it's like a lightweight material and so I had to pick this one up. I just thought it was so adorable. Um, and for that one, again, it's going to be like $15 to $20. Um, pro uh, not profit, but it'll sell for probably $15 to $20. And then another one that is a style-based pickup. I don't pick up this brand in regular Goodwill. I do not pay it for this. But this was cute. Cynthia Rally, size small. It is a adorable ditzy floral blouse. And it's very colorful too and it's kind of like a modest style top and it has some cute little tie detail on the wrist this is another great piece for a live show if i'm being honest with you but i will probably go ahead and list that um and then from time to time i will just go ahead and throw things from my closet into my live shows that's kind of how i do it anyway so that might eventually go into a live show this one as well might go into a live show. This is Charter Club size, size 16. This is a really cute gingham um, sleeveless blouse top button down. It also has the floral detail, which is just really cute. It's kind of stretchy material. Um, so I feel like I can easily get $15 for that. And then also have a vintage dress that when I saw this, I was like, this is definitely like 90s style to me. It is a floral mixed media print flutter sleeve plus size. It is size 22 and it's like almost a maxi and it has a high low hem um, and like ruffles at the bottom. It's just really nice, really cute style dress. Um, so I had to pick that one up as well. 
Okay guys, I knew this was gonna be a long haul. I still have quite a bit of clothes to go through, so I'm gonna try to run through them pretty quickly. This is a floral um, print pair of shorts. These are really cute. Um, these are men's, by the way. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren. I guess I could show the tag in there. Polo La Ralph Lauren. And the reason why I picked these up was because they were a linen blend. If they would have been just like nothing spectacular in the material, I might have left them behind. But honestly, I might have still picked them up just because of the print. But if this was like a basic blue pair of shorts from Polo Ralph Lauren, I probably would have left it behind. Um, but because of those factors, the floral print and the linen, I decided to pick it up. And then I have a Lucky Brand piece, and this is a size large, and it is so cute. Um, here's a Lucky Brand tag. It is a cheetah print, kind of like a long sleeve top, slouchy style sleeves, and it's in really good condition. It has a slight bit of wash wear to it, or not wash wear, wash wear. it has some peeling to it, which I'm gonna try to go over it with a sweater shaver, and I feel like that will come out. But that is a great piece to pick up just because Lucky Brand, larger sizes I've heard do better. Um, I don't pick up Lucky Brand though in regular Goodwill. I just really don't want to take the chance on it just because I know it doesn't resell for a lot of money. But the Lucky Brand shoes, I will pick them up if they're like leather. Okay, um, Old Navy. This is Old Navy men's everyday shirt. I'm not really sure about this, but I had heard about the everyday shirts from another reseller. I'm gonna have to look at the comps on this. It might have just been the women's everyday shirt, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's in excellent condition. If anything, I know these types of shirts sell anywhere from 10 to $15. Um, so I will easily make my money back on that. And then this was a style base pickup. I don't usually pick up this brand, New York and Company, but this is like a slip skirt like a cheetah print slip skirt. This is just so cute. Um, and it's like a midi link, so I decided to go ahead and pick that up. And then my husband actually found these. These are in really good condition. That's why I decided to pick them up. It's just Wrangler, men's Wrangler, size 36. But these are in excellent, excellent condition. It's like a light wash. And what I really like about these is the detail to the pocket there, if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. I just really like that detail and the fact that they're light wash. They're just a really nice jean and they feel basically brand new. So we decided to go ahead and pick those up. And then another brand I never pick up like I never pick up this brand in regular Goodwill, is Shein. But this is Shein Curb, size 4X, and it is it literally feels like it weighs nothing. And it's a cute print, so I said, you know what? I wanna try and see if Shein plus size will sell for me. If it doesn't, again, I will throw that in a live show and I will ask for like $5 for it. <laughs> so that way, you know, I will get my money back. So this is a Chico's really cute dress. Um, it's like a little dot print to it. And actually online, this is called a tunic. And it's gonna be hard to show, but at the bottom, it has kind of like a little crisscross detail, if you can see that. Size three, which is Chico size extra large. This is just really cute. It's that stretchy jersey knit material and I feel like that will do really well. Okay, and then the rest of the pieces I have are actually on hangers and I forgot, but these are the ones that I took pictures of yesterday, so they're gonna be on hangers. This is a cute Adidas tank top with a hoodie. I just thought this was really, really cute size large, but I think this is a youth large. So I'm gonna have to look it up, but I believe this is a youth large. Another Chico's piece, this is a size two, so a size large, and it's that black and white print. This is another just perfect, like live show piece. I just feel like this would do so good. Probably like eight to $10 maybe. 
and it's that semi sheer and the bottom actually ties I just don't have it tied right now and then this is a new with tags plus size piece it has this floral print top layer and under it is a tank top and this top layer just kind of like flows on top of it if that makes sense and it's from the brand cure size 3xl and it again it is a new tag and i just thought that was cute that was a style base pickup another style base pickup because of this awesome i know i'm going pretty fast you guys but i'm trying to not make this video like 100 years old but i got this because of the back as you can see it has that elephant print also beading um, but it is a kind of like a blazer, if you can see that. Um, and anytime I find stuff like this, I will add keywords like 90s, safari, art to wear, and it usually does really well. And that's a size extra large, but I'm going to have to, whoops, I just dropped one. I'm going to have to measure it to make sure it's an extra large because a lot of times the vintage stuff can be can run smaller than what it says. This is an old navy cute floral dress size medium. Had to pick that up. That is so cute. I know I can at least get probably $15 for that. And then this was a cute style. Um, I got it because the embroidery. This is actually the last piece to this haul but I was so excited about this because of the embroidery to the front and it is a size large and it kind of has that gauzy feeling material the issue though is it is flawed it has a hole here and that's the thing about like Goodwill bin stuff like if you don't don't <laughs> if you don't look through it thoroughly a lot of times when you get home or at least that has happened to me quite a few times where I'm kind of in a hurry and I can't look through things as quickly or as thoroughly as I would like to. Um, usually when I come home, I have a couple of flawed pieces, but thankfully this time, as of right now, all I can see is this one is the only one <laughs> that I overlooked that has a flaw. So hopefully this will turn out being the only one that I overlooked. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Again, I will have another one uploaded soon so do definitely um, subscribe to this channel so that you'll get notified when I upload that new one and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video bye